What's going down, everybody? One half of the Wake Up Crew here to talk some WNBA prop bets over on Prize Picks for this Wednesday, May the 11th, 2022 slate. We got three games tonight. We got the LA Sparks and the Atlanta Dream, Chicago Sky and the New York Liberty, and the Phoenix Mercury and the Seattle Storm facing off tonight. We talked about four plays yesterday two hit, two missed. Uh, the projection model overall for the WNBA hit at a 58.9% clip. So pleased with it. We just got to pick out the winners. We got to look at the data, pick out the winners. I'm excited for the games tonight. And I think we found some good matchups and some good edges to get into. And just remember, it is early. A lot of the data that we're working with, two games, one regular season game and a preseason game, two regular season games. So the data is very, very limited, but we're trying to make the most informed decisions based on the information that we have using a lot of what these women did in game one from a minute standpoint and a scoring standpoint. So the first play I want to talk about, uh, I mean, you just pull up the highlights. I mean, she's pulling up from the logo. She can drive to the cup. Sabrina Ionescu over 16 and a half points. You talk about what she did in her first game, shot the ball 18 times. Most on her team was 10 for 18, played the second most minutes in this matchup at 35 minutes, 25 points in that first game, 16 and a half. I love it. I want the high volume shooters, the players that are playing the minutes, and Sabrina can do that. So 16 and a half, we like the over for this one. So I want to stay with the point total because I was actually waiting to put this video out until we saw Dana Evans' line, and it came out at 12 and a half. So in our one preseason game to start her WNBA career, here it is, 12 points, and then she dropped 24 points in her first uh, her first WNBA matchup, her debut game. And what I like about what she did, again, high-volume shooter, getting the minutes, shot the most times on the team, and that includes Candace Parker on this team as well. She played 35 minutes, tied for the second most minutes on her team, was 9 for 17, and dropped 24 points. So to get a line of 12 and a half, I'm all in. I'm taking the over on Dana Evans, taking the over on Sabrina Ionescu, and I'm also going to dabble in the fantasy score. And I know I talked a lot of stuff about fantasy score in our private Discord but Ryan Howard, the stud out of Kentucky, the young phenom for the Atlanta Dream, listen, 42.6 fantasy score in her first game. What I like about what Ryan, her projection, is before we put any points, any rebounds, any assists into the model, she already started off with a high edge because she had five, four blocks and two steals in her first game. So while we can't project four blocks and two steals every time, if you're going to take fantasy score, you got to take players who contribute on the defensive side of the ball because those blocks and those steals are worth a hell of a lot more than rebounds, points, or assists. So I'm in on Ryan Howard over 27.5 fantasy score. Give me Dana Evans over 12.5 points and Sabrina Ionescu over 16.5 points for this Wednesday, May the 11th slate. As I ran it, there are a lot of plays that I like. You know, Skylar Diggins, Skylar Diggins-Smith, her point total, believe it's 16.5 was real close to going over uh, Skyler's point total. She dropped 25 in her first matchup. I like that play as well, as well as Deanna Tarasi over five assists. They got her at, at they've got her right at five. She had nine in her first game. I like Tarasi's over assist total. She's playing about 32 minutes. Loving it, loving it, loving it. But don't want to be overweight. It's early. Uh, again, quite a few WNBA plays I like, but Sabrina. Dana and Ryan are who we're rolling with on the slate for tonight. As always, uh, all these picks are driven by data, putting them in the projection model. As we always say, if you tail, give them hell. And if we fail, do not bail. We'll be back. I don't think there are any games tomorrow, but I do think there are some WNBA games on Friday. So we'll make sure that we have all that up video here to talk through it. Hopefully, if you guys tail, we get some winners. Good luck to you, and we'll see you later on this week. We out. Peace.